Is real estate a good vehicle for retirement? My name is Chris Crone, and on this channel, I talk everything real estate, mindset, and success. And today, I'm gonna to share with you your alternatives with how you can best approach retirement and what real estate can do to supercharge it. There you are. You're sitting down across from your financial planner. You're sitting down from your HR director and they're talking about things like 401ks and IRAs and things that you should do with your money. Should you be doing that with your money? I'm gonna tell you that I've had a very unique experience in life. When I was in college, I had a telemarketing job. I was on the phone all day talking to people that uh, were basically looking for help financially. They had gone to college 30 years earlier. They had degrees. They had good paying jobs. They had been 401k'ing, IRA'ing, house payer offering. And at the end of 30 years, guess what? Financially, were they near where they needed to be for retirement? Well, let me share with you what I found on average and you tell me. When I talked to them in their 50s and 60s, this was very common. This was their, their assets. They had a house that they lived in. P is for primary residence, meaning their own home and most of them had, we'll call it a value of $300,000. They lived in a nicer than average home and they owed about $100,000 on it. So after their working career, they got their houses sometimes totally paid off or mostly paid off. So that was one thing. Then number two, we'd say, great. So what else have you saved for retirement? And they'd say, well, I put some money in a 401k and often they would have put $50,000 to $150,000 in a 401k. Sometimes they also had an IRA, an annuity, the stock account, and in their IRAs, maybe they had another $50,000. Savings, maybe 10 grand, maybe 20 grand, sometimes very little. This is what the average American's retirement looks like. Now, if someone is 55 or 60 year old and this is their situation, let's do some math. They've been following society's financial game plan for 30 years. How's the buck gonna stop? What's it actually gonna look like in the end? Well, let me tell you. If they work for another 10 years, they'll end up putting a little bit more money in their 401k, they'll grow their IRAs a little bit more, and maybe they even get their house paid off. Let's say that they do. Let's say they've got a zero balance. Now they wanna retire, they wanna be done working. Now, by the way, while they earn this money, they were accustomed to, let's just say, a lifestyle based on an income of $80,000 a year. So all of a sudden they're saying, well, I'm retired. I can't, no, no one really wants to hire me anymore. I'm past my marketing age and look what's happening. They're used to 80 grand a year, but guess what? If they have 150 in a 401k, 50 in an IRA, a little bit in savings, they got a couple hundred grand. You tell me, how long is $200,000 going to last? $200,000, when you're used to making 80 grand a year is gonna last you two and a half years. Problem is, you're gonna to live to be 100. I, mean, I kid you not, if you got a healthy lifestyle, like medical advances, it's gonna be beyond that by the time you and I get there. But now these people gotta find a way to live 30 or 40 more years, but they only have two and a half years of income. What do they do? Well, they got some options. Number one, they gotta figure out how to live off half of what they're accustomed to. And if you think about that, 200 grand will now last you a big whop five years. So now you're saying, crap, I'm gonna live way longer than that. In fact, I'll get old or I'll have dementia or I'll have medical problems and, and how am I gonna pay for all of that crap? But on top of that, maybe you gotta go and get a job at Walmart or, or whoever will hire someone that is in their late 60s or their 70s. I and mean, the problem is, is that the typical retirement plan fails. And if we're watching this video, this is a kid who retired from college after college with real estate investment. I did the opposite. I accomplished in a short period of time what people can't accomplish in years of living. And I wanna share with you what made that possible. Let's take this scenario that we've got and let's say that you've been building up some assets. The question is, how do you deploy these assets into real estate? And J.B. Shea, French philosopher and economist, mid 1800s said, creating wealth is easy. It's moving low yields to high yields. I gotta move low yields to high yields. So what is my 401k right here producing? My 401k right here is producing for me 5% a year. My IRA is producing 4%. My home equity is, is producing, is growing at 3%. So you take inflation against all these things. This one's earning 2%. This one's earning 1%. This one's earning negative 3%. I'm basically losing money every year trying to accumulate. We got to play a different game and we got to find a way to get into a higher bracket. So all of a sudden, let's just say you 
click the link in the description below, you talk to a member of my team and now all of a sudden we start dishing up properties with 15 and 20% returns, not three and 4% returns. All of a sudden you start saying, well, real estate, how do I buy that? It takes 20% down payment to do that. Well, number one, you can get a home equity line of credit from the bank on your 300,000. Let's say you do owe that 100 grand and the banks will say, well, you can, we'll lend you up to 240,000. So boom, you have a $140,000 line of credit and that's enough to go ahead and buy four homes. Those four homes are going to produce a cash flow that will what? Take, they'll actually pay off the increased debt service amount and there's going to be leftover cash flow. And then you say, well, what about my 401k? If some of this came from previous employment, you can roll that into real estate or you can borrow against it. IRA, you can liquidate. You are going to have to pay taxes and penalties. But then again, you're the one that got yourself in that situation because you took that financial advice and did that with your money, which I would never do. So you have what's called now a cost of business. That 50,000 turns into $38,000, but guess what? That's enough to buy a home. Your 401k is enough to buy, let's say, uh, out of it, you know, two homes. Don't touch the savings and all of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got yourself six homes. Now, what can you expect? Well, now you've actually got your money to work. You've deployed, let's just say in this scenario, a quarter million dollars. Every five years, my assets double. 250 becomes a half a million. Five years later, a half a million becomes a million. So from where you're sitting today, you're saying, Chris, in that scenario, that I could be a millionaire 10 years from now, but nowhere near that by playing the accumulation game? That's exactly what I'm saying. Some of you watching this video are saying, but I don't wanna wait 10 years, I wanna go faster. Number one, shut up, pay your dues. I mean, serious, you can't have everything immediately when you want it, or can you? Well, actually, my friend, there are a number of accelerators that I use in the world of real estate that actually allow you to go a lot faster. That's how I retired so fast. But you're gonna to have to be hungry and you're gonna to have to want it. And if you got hunger and if it's something that you want, that's when you start applying the accelerants. Refinances, 1031 exchanges, partnering. You can learn all of that with my mentorship and my system because recently I've decided, hey, retirement is fun. I'm only working part-time. What am I gonna do of, of value and meaning in my life? I'm gonna train hungry, ambitious men and women that want more out of life like I do. And if you want more out of life, then click the link in the description below and I'll show you how to get that life. But big picture is I want you to understand as you watch this, you might not have, have assets, but guess what? Someone you know does. So it doesn't matter to me whether you have money or not. Never, ever, ever let real estate tell you that you can't do something because you say, well, I don't got the money or I don't got the credit. That's BS. Friends, you, I'm talking to you. Don't let anyone hold you back in your life. Live life to your absolute fullest. I'm telling you, I've traveled the world. I've, I've been able to drive just about any car I've ever wanted to. I've been so incredibly blessed. And it is because of this real estate investing that I'm teaching you how to do. I will tell you, a mentor made all the difference in the world. If you want a mentor in your life, I'm now taking time out of my schedule to personally respond, work with people and actually help them get rip roaring, crazy, awesome, cranking, insane results, and you can do. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. We'll go ahead and teach more of this valuable information that can help you change your financial stars. And uh, other than that, I wanna also tell you that I put on live events every quarter. And you, if you go to chriscrone.com, you can actually meet me at those events and I will train you, mentor you, work with you. There's a number of ways that you and I can play together. Most importantly, those click the link in that description to talk to my team and tell them your situation, tell them your finances and tell them your dreams and tell them what you want. And let's see if we have a fit in me mentoring you to help you get the life that you want.